Hi, welcome to your installation of Ask a Leathernet. Today we have Kim. She is the study abroad advisor. Hi, Kim. Hi, Tammy. How are you? I'm good. Can you please tell us a little bit about yourself and your center? Sure. Um, I work with students who are interested in studying abroad, um, various lengths of time. We'll talk about that probably a little bit later. Uh, happy to say I'm a twice over leatherneck, both for my bachelor's and my master's degrees, and I even grew up in the area. So been working at this for almost 20 years now and loving helping all the students go abroad. Great. So how does a student go abroad? <laughs> uh, first step is they talk to me. Um, that way, if they don't know what they're looking for or they're overwhelmed with the choices, because we do have a lot of different kinds of choices, I can kind of help guide them based on their year, their interest, their major, all of those kinds of things. Um, they can also check out our website, uh, which is www.wiu.edu forward slash SAO, Sam Alpha Octopus. Uh, that takes you to our main page. They can look around from there. But like I said, we have a lot of choices, so it can get overwhelming. And I am simply here to help them navigate all of that. Great. Can you tell me who is eligible to go to study abroad? Uh, practically any one of our students. Um, we do have some three basic eligibility requirements for any student for any program. Uh, the first one is that you need to have at least 12 semester hours completed of coursework here at Western. You need to have at least a 2.5 overall grade point average, and then you need to be in good status with the Student Rights and Responsibilities Office. Um, anything that would make for a problem with them would not make for a good ambassador to send to another country. Um, once students meet those basic requirements, then I can check additional things depending on what program they're interested in. Sometimes only certain majors can go to a particular school. Sometimes the other university wants a higher grade point average. And I help the students walk through that process. Great. Can you tell us the length of time someone possibly can be gone and the ranges of universities and countries people go to? Oh, wow. Um, well, this office, since its beginning, has never believed in a one size fits all kind of situation. So that will help explain why we have so many different options. Uh, with our faculty led programs, you can be gone as little as a week in some cases in your other country. And through the individual student programs, you can be gone for an entire academic year and really pretty much everything in between. So again, that's one of the things I help students navigate is what length of program will be best. In terms of countries, uh, we can work with things in just about every single part of the world. Um, once things get back to normal, um, anything that has a high state department warning level where there's lots of crime, lots of violence, things like that. Obviously those are not places we're gonna send our students, but European countries, South American countries, um, African countries, Asian countries, pretty much everywhere. Excellent. So I'm sure a lot of students ask, what does it cost? How does someone finance a study abroad program? Um, study abroad can have a varying cost depending again on what kind of program you want to do. Uh, some of that is, are things that are beyond our control, like going to a European country or another country where their currency has a stronger value than what the US dollar does. Uh, there's other ways to minimize that cost, maybe study within a country, but not in the capital city of that country. So you can still have the experience without the metropolitan price point. Uh, the really good thing is that no matter what kind of program a student goes on, they're still a Western student. So students still can qualify for their financial aid, including Pell Grants, MAP, uh, MAP Grants, federal loans, scholarships, both from the university and outside the university. And additionally, because they're studying abroad, they qualify for an additional set of scholarships they can apply for that are specifically for students who are having that experience. Um, students can go on everything from programs that are actually slightly less for a semester than being on campus to things that are quite honestly several times more expensive. And part of what I do when I talk to students is just help them assess what their realistic price points are. And then I try to give them some examples of things to look at within that range. Excellent. So what would you tell a student who is considering to come to Western, students who are already students, parents, or even community people, what are the benefits of studying abroad? 
Oh my gosh. Um, one of them is definitely getting outside of your comfort zone. Um, I'm speaking from personal experience. As I said, I grew up in this area. I went to a very small local high school. And one of my first international experiences was in a faculty-led study abroad course prior to me getting this position. Um, I got the joy of spending two weeks in the city of Rome and learning so much about Italian culture and history and all of those kinds of things that you just cannot get from looking it up online or you know reading a book about it. So you get a lot of personal satisfaction, especially when maybe things don't go absolutely according to plan. Maybe you miss that bus or you miss that train and you have to figure out how you're getting to your next destination. It's a good learning experience in terms of personal growth. And it's also very, very eye-opening to feel like you are not in the norm of the population to open your eyes to what other people here in the United States experience on a daily basis by reversing your roles and being able to put yourself in an unfamiliar situation. Um, that and students love meeting their counterparts in other countries and especially when they do semester programs, they get an entire semester to be able to do that and uh, make friends and stay friends with those people well beyond while they're here at Western. You mentioned faculty led. Can you explain what that is and what the other options are? Certainly. Um, faculty led is kind of my soft spot. Like I said, that was the study abroad experience I had. And it's also what I first started working on here in the office. Those are courses here at Western where it is a Western professor. It's a Western group of students taking a class. And part of that class is taught in another location. Some common times for those to be gone are over spring break. So the class will leave Thursday, Friday before break begins go to their destination, spend the week of spring break there, and then come back on the weekend right before classes resume on campus. Uh, also, courses can be gone right after the spring semester ends. So anywhere from Monday after graduation weekend to maybe a couple weeks later, the course departs, they go to their destination, again, spend 10 days to two weeks there, and then come back and the students have some sort of final project, paper, exam, uh, to complete. So those are really great, especially for students who maybe have a very structured curriculum, who don't have an opportunity or the flexibility in their degree plan to study abroad for an entire semester, but they want an experience. Uh, also to those students who maybe have never traveled before or who are a little hesitant about traveling because the arrangements and the logistical things are handled by my office and there aren't as many of those that they have to take care of themselves. Plus they get to travel with a group of other students and usually one of their favorite faculty members. So they get to have that group experience to hang on to. Uh, otherwise, we have a lot of programs for students who can go on an individual basis. The most common is the traditional semester abroad. Students can go spend an entire semester at a foreign university taking classes uh, frequently with the students who are there getting a whole degree. Sometimes they take their classes with other American students, depending on the situation. And those students who go f on an individual basis can also do programs during the summer. Um, we offer help for students who are looking for international internships. We can also guide students towards reliable resources in case they want to do international volunteering or international service work. Um, that probably wouldn't necessarily be for academic credit, but we have information on good and reputable organizations if they're looking to go out and help other people in the, in the rest of the world. Great, great. So let's, let's say I'm interested in studying abroad. When do I contact you? Um, if you're going to go abroad for an entire semester, ideally you want to contact me about a year beforehand. Um, I have worked with students who have contacted me a few months before they wanted to go abroad and we've managed to make that work out. However, it tends to be super stressful for the student and just making sure everything falls into place in a much shorter timeline. Um, if your students want to go abroad for a summer term or a fall semester, they have to apply to my office by the 1st of March that same year. And if they want to go abroad for an entire spring semester, then they have to apply by the 1st of October, the year before they want to go. So if they wanted to go spring of 22, they have to apply October 1st of 21, as an example. Excellent. So 
I want to thank you so much, Kim, for giving us all this information that you provided us. I'm going to give you an opportunity to give us your social media handles, to repeat your website, and to give us some last words to leave us with. Sure, definitely. Um, you Please check us out on Facebook. Um, we've been trying this year to focus on a different country every week and some holiday that they're having just to kind of keep the excitement level up there. So you can find us on Facebook. We are Western Illinois University Study Abroad. Um, we also have an Instagram that is at Study Abroad WIU. You can also check out our website, which has much more detail. You can check out all of our programs, et cetera, from there. Uh, like I said before, it is www.wiu.edu forward slash S-A-O. Thank you so much, Kelly. I really appreciate it. And it's always a great day to be a leather neck. Thank yes, you. Yes, it is. Thanks, Tammy.